Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you some super simple ways on how to transition your footage using speed ramps in Premiere Pro. I want to do up a quick edit for this video so you guys could see the speed ramps being used in real time. So I used the speed ramp to quickly cut into where he jumps and then I slowed it down to about 60% here to slow-mo it. And then as he comes back down, I obviously speed the clip back up at the end and I match that speed ramp at the end of the clip with the clip next to it here at the beginning. So they flow nicely together. It's especially good in concert recaps, which is something that I specialize in. If you guys are curious in seeing more of those, I have them on my channel here. So if I play through the first clip that I have here at the beginning of the video, this is the normal speed. So here I'll show you guys the idea I had for slowing this down, speeding this up. Basically, I always try and expand my clip by dragging this guy just so I have more wiggle room and I can visually see my clip better. So we're gonna right click here and go to time remapping and speed. Now I wanted to speed up into his jump. So I tried to pick a few frames beforehand, grab your pen tool and set a mark here. Now I'm gonna go about right here when he reaches his peak, set another point. So now I have two points set at the beginning and then right here where I want it to slow down. So I'm gonna speed it up, I think just do like 200%. I'm going to start dragging these out, which helps ease the speed ramp. As you can see here, we have the general idea, but we've got to slow this down here to 60%. And you can see that sometimes you have to play with where these markers are for it to work properly. We want to slow down right here, so I got to keep moving this over. And now we have the general idea here. So a lot of times when I'm speed ramping clips, there is times where the marks I make might not add up perfectly. So you just move those points around and feel where it works best for you. So now that we have this basic speed ramp, we can clean it up by actually going into the, if you click on either of the guys here for our first point, I'm going to turn this guy by uh, clicking and dragging, which will smooth the speed ramp. I'm gonna do that for this one as well. So then it just kind of makes it a smooth ramp rather than just a harsh line. And now right here when he lands, I'll do just another speed ramp. So I'll click right here. We'll do, we'll go even higher. We'll go like 330 and then we'll just smooth this out again. You can pull these out and away from each other to slow down the speed ramp and how long it takes for that speed to kick up right here. And that's the general idea of the speed ramp for that first clip. So as far as transitioning between both clips, I just use the speed ramp at the end and then I normally put one at the beginning of the second clip following that first clip. So we're doing the same thing here. I'm gonna cut about maybe like right here. Obviously make sure to do your timing wrapping speed here on the FX button. I'm gonna put my point about right here. And now I'm gonna try and match it up levels wise with where I have the speed here at the end of the clip. You don't have to do that. So now we have two clips that match the speed at the end and into one another. I'll even move it closer here. So it's a shorter one. And that just kind of cleans up the transition between both clips. If you go into the clips where you just made your speed ramps, you click on the clip, then you come up here to your speed and you open up the drop down. You can actually see those lines of the speed ramp. And if we zoom in here, click on them here, and you can also move those guys inside of this option here to smooth out those speed ramps. Thanks for watching guys. Just a simple basic video today. I've got my small rig softbox on my Amarin 150C trying to light up my face a little bit more. It's kind of dark in my room so I hope you guys can see me better. Anyways guys thank you so much for watching. Please like the video if it helped you guys. Consider subscribing. I post videos every week. I'll catch you in the next video. Later.